Stopping your total weather and news to go. Crews from the NTSB setting out again today in another attempt to find the El Faro's voyage data recorder. The cargo ship sank on October 1st during Hurricane Joaquin. Investigators say finding the voyage data recorder could unravel the mystery surrounding the ship's final hours. Five Maine Maritime graduates and four Mainers were among the 33 killed when the ship sank, including Captain Michael Davidson. The Navy found the wreckage of the El Faro last year, but not the recorder. An NTSB spokesman says the second search will also include more documentation of the wreckage. South Portland police are searching for whomever vandalized several gravestones at the Forest City Cemetery. Officials say someone tipped over at least three headstones Friday night. Police say none of the stones have significant damage, but neighbors say this latest vandalism is part of an ongoing issue. Felix Exeter Academy says it's hired several law firms to investigate how the elite New Hampshire prep school has handled multiple sexual abuse allegations involving staff. Last week, teacher Steve Lewis was fired after admitting to sexual encounters with a student decades ago. In 2011, another teacher, Rick Schubart, was forced to resign after admitting to sexual misconduct. It's Patriots Day, and with it, the 120th running of the Boston Marathon. More than 30,000 runners are hitting the course today, and even more people lining the route to cheer them on. 5,000 police officers are on the ground from start to finish, checking bags and keeping people safe. British Airways says one of its planes was struck by a drone. The plane was about to land in London when the pilot reported he may have been hit by the drone. The plane landed safely, by the way. If confirmed, it would be the first known drone collision with a commercial aircraft. Brazil's president this morning calling the actions of legislators a coup after they vote to impeach her. Brazil's lower house of Congress voting Sunday to impeach President Dilma Rousseff. She's accused of using accounting tricks and managing the federal budget to maintain spending and shore up support. The Summer Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro, by the way, begin in early August. An American military cargo plane has landed in Ecuador to deliver relief supplies this morning. It's after three deadly earthquakes striking within three days in both Ecuador and Japan. Rescuers in both countries are racing against time to reach possible survivors still trapped beneath all that rubble. The death toll now at 260 in Ecuador and at least 42 are killed in Japan. We are less than 24 hours away until the New York primary. Candidates of both parties meeting with voters and getting out that last minute support. Both Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton lead in the polls. Today, the Supreme Court hears arguments on President Barack Obama's plan to overhaul the nation's immigration rules at issue to the president overstep his authority by issuing an executive order that would spare more than four million undocumented immigrants from deportation and give them work permits. A decision most likely will be one of the last rulings of the term. Amazon will begin offering its video streaming service as a standalone option. A monthly subscription will cost $8.99. That's a dollar less than the most popular plan from Netflix. Amazon has been offering its video service as a perk for its annual Prime subscribers. And because of the Patriots Day holiday, you have until tomorrow to file your taxes. Everyone else is due at midnight. Tax experts say if you do need more time, try and file an extension with the IRS, which gives you an extra six months to file. And we could soon see redesigns of the $10 bill. A source with the Treasury Department says Alexander Hamilton will remain on the front of the 10 with a mural depicting the women's suffrage movement on the back. Last summer, Treasury Secretary Jack Lew said he was considering removing Hamilton, but the move drew angry rebukes from Hamilton fans of the popular Broadway musical based on the life of the first Treasury Secretary. Back here at home, some travel alerts to tell you about before you begin your Monday morning commute. First in Portland, work is set to begin on a natural gas project on Allen Avenue. This is happening between Washington and Racine Avenues. Traffic will be impacted. It's part of a larger project, which will bring up grades to downtown Portland this summer. And in Lewiston, Savannah Street will be down to one lane as crews replace a water main. This is happening between North Temple and Grove Streets. City leaders say expect delays and seek alternate routes. That's your total weather and news to go. I'm Norm Carco. I'm Megan Torgerson. Make sure to check back at WMTW.com and our mobile app for the top stories and weather anytime. Have a good day.